afternoon, everybody. Portion control. I have eight tricks for you so that you can have better portion control. And whether you're trying to lose weight or just maintain a healthy lifestyle, having good portion control um, obviously is going to be uh, what's going to help you be very successful. So I'm Janice Thornton, um, for those of you that don't know me, and I'm an online personal trainer with Total Body Transformation by Janice. And today, like I said, I just want to provide eight different tips for you on portion control. So the first one is looking at the plates that we use. And I know for myself, when I use a smaller plate like this versus a much larger plate, drop it, much larger plate like this, I feel more full when I use this smaller type of plate. And when it comes to portions on your plate, you want to make sure that you have 50%, half of your plate, to be filled with vegetables. Another 25% the corner, so really four to six ounces of protein to go in the corner, and then this other corner for just a little bit of carbs um, and starches, um, healthy starches over here. So if you have a, a small plate and then you have a larger plate, Take out both plates one night and prepare the meal the same. And I challenge you to plate both plates with the same portion sizes and see what it looks like. Because I know for me, when I eat off of this, my mind, my brain is telling me, oh my gosh, I have a very full plate of food and I'm full after I finish my plate. When I put that same amount of food onto this plate, this plate looks empty or it looks like it really could use a whole lot more food on there. So it's tempting to actually add a bunch of more food on there when actually you don't necessarily need it. So tip number one, use a smaller plate for sure because it is a mind game with your brain and any way we can trick our brains, let's do it. So the second, um, oh, I guess I did tips one and two. One is to put 50% of vegetables, The 25% protein and 25% carbs. The second tip was to actually eat off the smaller plates. So when you create your meal, the third tip is gonna be to um, set aside leftovers before you even start your meal. So know that when it comes to lunch for tomorrow and you're making some chicken or you know whatever you're making for, the, for dinner, that you have leftovers um, for the next day and that right there will take away what you um, are gonna be eating for that evening. So that way you have lunch anyway. You don't have to think about what am I having for lunch then the next day. So tip number four, let's talk about restaurants. And oh my gosh, in restaurants, they are so notorious for giving you this size plate and bigger. And it is so much food. The food just fills the entire plate. So when you get to a restaurant, you're out to dinner, Ask for a to-go box or doggy bag for my Midwest friends. Um, ask for that to-go box and put your cut your meal in half. Put it, especially if you're single, cut it in half and take it with you um, so that way you have leftovers for the next day. If you have, if you're sharing with somebody, then oh my gosh, then please um, share your meal with whomever you're with because A, is, first of all, it's going to save you money. But B, it helps you both save on calories when you are um, eating dinner. So I noticed someone jumped on. I'd love for you to comment um, what your thoughts are so far with the tips. You know, what are some of your favorite tips that you do? So put in the comments what your favorite portion control tips are. Um, okay, so number five, tip number five. And as I was writing this one down, I was like, okay, I actually didn't follow my own tip today. I'm kind of, you know, showing even... Some of us can be vulnerable as well. Uh, but tip number five is stop eating straight from the bag. Portion out if you're gonna eat some chips, some popcorn, um, whatever it is that you eat out of, out of the bag, make sure that you um, portion it out into a small bowl uh, so that way it's much easier to only eat what's in that bowl. And that way you're not just constantly putting your arm into the bag and out, and I did that with some chips and salsa, and. I let my salsa run out. Anyway, thank goodness it was a small bowl of salsa. Okay, so tip number six, buffets. Buffets are a big one, because uh, it's so easy, obviously, to overeat. 
And you do want to do a survey to kind of see what is actually at the buffet first before you just dive in. Because I know I've been to you know some great buffets and all of a sudden you turn a corner and your plate is so full and all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, I didn't even realize there's this whole awesomeness of food over here. So you want to make sure that you survey the whole area before you, you know, jump into that buffet. But the other thing to think about is, think of the buffet. They've got at least 20 meals planned out there for you to choose from. When you look at a menu to purchase your meal, you get one meal. So you're, why, why is a buffet all of a sudden okay that you uh, are trying three to five different meals all at once? So make sure that you definitely kind of scope out the whole area and find out which foods that are going to really satisfy you for the day. Um, the seventh uh, tip is going to be to separate mealtime and TV. This one is really easy to sit and eat in front of the TV. However, I highly recommend when we eat in front of the TV, we have a tendency to do mindless eating and we'll just keep shoveling food into our mouths. You know, unless you've set up your plate and this is what you're going to eat in front of the TV and you're good with that, then great. If you want to eat in front of the TV, fine. However, if you've got that bag of chips or that bag of popcorn and you're sitting in front of the TV, guess what? All of a sudden, the next thing you know, that bag is gone. So, if again, portion that out. And if you're doing that mindless eating, just try to be mindful that you're just eating out of that bag and be like, oh, let me portion this out. But the last tip I have for you also comes with alcohol and drinks because it is very deceiving. Like the plates, our you know, glasses do the same thing. And our minds, when we can trick our minds to think we're getting something more than what we may be getting, we want to do that because then it makes us feel full, it makes us feel satisfied. And that's what we're going after when it comes with food is we definitely want to feel satisfied. So I poured a glass of, well, it's water, later it'll be wine, um, into this great Justin Winery glass. And you know, if I got a glass like this, I'd be like, yay, nice pour, thank you, bartender, because it's almost to the top. So instantly I'm thinking, great, I've got a really nice full glass of wine. So then I have another glass that's shaped a little bit differently. And you know, when I pour this in here, the nice thing is this actually, this glass, it actually looks more full, even though this is wider at the top and this is wider at the bottom. I'm like, ooh, this is even better because it's more full. But then I love to get into pretty wine glasses and different colors and things like that. So I love these wine glasses that I have. So I take the same amount, it's probably about six ounces. I should have measured it, oops. So when I pour into here though, when you look, you really only get you get half full, and this is still looks like a nice pour, don't get me wrong. Um, but at the same time, it's just you're not to the top like you were with these. And then, this is one of my favorite wine glasses. They're so big at the bottom, really pretty. Red wine looks really pretty in here. But you go in here, you pour the glass in here, you're like, oh, that's even less in there. So you really do have to make sure that you are aware of what type of glass that you're drinking out of with the alcohol um, because looks can be deceiving and then all of a sudden the next thing you know especially these bigger glasses you've drank a whole bottle of wine so some of you you can comment you're like yeah i love that whole bottle of wine janice what are you thinking anyway we're talking weight loss a little bit portion control so be careful of um what size glass that you do use because here if you drink Three, say you have three glasses of wine and you drink them out of here, you're going to feel way more satisfied than typically if you have three out of here. So I would love your thoughts. Your comments below would be great. Um, tell me what you think about the, set, or the eight tips and what do you do for portion control for yourself. And I just want you to uh, know that with me, you do get a free 30-minute uh, wellness consult. So if that's something that would interest you, I will post the link in the comments so that way if you'd like to set up a free consult with me um, you can so i hope these helped you guys have an awesome day thanks